term that the, the DOD uses quite often is digital twin. Um, and with a system like Divergent, and, and I'm not pretending that Divergent solves the entire solution for any vehicle. We're not going to integrate the avionics for you. Um, you know, we're not going to fill the vehicle with propellant. There's, there's a number of other things, but um, the structure still takes up, I mean, Alexei will we'll, we'll probably know best, but on average, maybe 25, 30%, 30% of the vehicle bill of material costs. So it's a big proponent. And because we have so much data throughout the process, I mean, our raw material inputs can essentially be simplified to powder and adhesive. Um, powder goes into the CNC, excuse me, into the additive manufacturing equipment. These are aluminum, uh, inconel, nickel, uh, titanium powders uh, that are made specifically for the process. And with those, we get all of the data from the morphology, meaning how spherical the powder is, the particle size distribution. We have, you know, tens of parameters that we're measuring all of this, including chemistry. Um, and that goes into the machine. And then during the, the sintering process, you're getting all of the, the data from uh, laser power to thermal history to a you know, number of other things that I, that I won't mention. But you're, you know, throughout the assembly process, then all of those parts get either bonded or welded together. And, uh, and because robots are doing those processes, and they're not doing them with pre-programmed um, uh, uh, you know, uh, like path plans, it is algorithmic, it's logic based. So it identifies the part, it knows based on that part's geometry what its next movement has to be. And then it's capturing all of that data so that we have that full digital twin of that process. And the DOD is, is particularly interested in that because what you can do with more computing power and more time and AI is then during the life of that aircraft, you can then start to understand how much damage is incurred or predicted to be incurred using you know, damage tolerance models and, and actually identify, okay, you had a defect in the process. It's gonna happen, that's manufacturing 101. What is that defect gonna do over the life of the vehicle? Now we can use high performance computing to predict that. And I think the DOD DARPA um, is definitely thinking about that. 